English drama and film is a unique course. UCD is the only place in the country that you can study this four-year degree where you get to explore not just English or drama or film, but all three together where you get to think about texts, where you get to think about screens, where you get to think about stages and understand how those things work together. In their first and second year, students are introduced to a range of core themes and genres and forms in English, drama and film. In their third year, students get to go out into the world, whether that's to experiment with an internship in real life practice or study abroad and to really discover that different dimension of studying somewhere else. In fourth year, students get the opportunity to do a dissertation, which is to focus on one thing that they're really keen about, that they have noticed over the past three years that they want to follow. Studying English drama and film means sometimes you're going to be in a lecture room, sometimes you're going to be in a seminar room, sometimes you'll be in a tutorial room, and those things, to explain them a little bit, a lecture room, large group with your whole class. In a seminar that's a smaller group where you're interacting with each other, in a tutorial room, an even smaller group where you have more chance for group work and group projects and to explore your own kind of creativity. Also, there's a lot of space in English drama and film course for individual study. So you get to spend time and we hope that you get to enjoy spending time reading, watching, experiencing uh, and bringing all of that back into the classroom and into the discussions that you have with other students. There's a lot of writing that's involved, and, but also a lot of creativity where we get you to explore um, different genres within uh, English drama and film. So one of the really great things about taking English drama film is that you get to be in a smaller group, right? So there's about 40 students in your class. You get to do modules that are just for you. And when I say modules, I mean you're going to be in classrooms, in lecture halls, but also hopefully joining societies together and exploring the rest of the UCD campus and then meeting people from outside of your classes as well. And that sense of understanding that you're, you have a distinct identity, right, as a student within UCD. So UCD is really, really big, but actually you'll always have somewhere to go. And your lecturers, you know, or your tutors, or the people who you are meeting, who are teaching you, like we're always really engaged and looking forward to meeting with students. So it's a really exciting opportunity to meet other people, your peers, uh, but also to engage with people who are teaching on the course as well. So lots of the graduates from English drama film go to work in the culture industries generally. So what does that mean specifically? People are writers, people are directors, they work in curation, they work in theatres, they can be critics. You know, just thinking about how the skills that they learn, right, as part of the degree are applicable. We, we call them transferable skills, which is a very dry way of saying how do you take what you learn in the classroom and actually apply it to your life outside as a job. Now, so much of what we're looking at in terms of employment is about communication. And in a world where communication is everything, it's not just the ability to write or to speak, which are things that you will learn right, doing English drama film. It's also the ability to analyse what other people are writing and speaking, and I think any employer wants that. But I'm going to say as well that it's not just about what job you get out of this. Doing a degree, whether you're choosing it at 18 or you're choosing it at 38 or you're choosing it at 80, right, is about taking one of the few times in your life you get to choose what you're passionate about and spend four years doing it and thinking about what kind of person do I want to be. So my top advice for students who are choosing what to do in college is do it intentionally, right? By which I mean, what is it that you love doing? What do you want to spend four years of your life doing? Who do you want to become? Think about all those things and have the freedom to make the choice. Choose the thing that you love.